Your work can be both anxious and very beautiful at, at the same time, because what's in Derry Gimla is beautiful, but also kind of disturbing. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I feel that the game engine, it's quite a cold medium. It comes out of, you know, kind of battlefield simulations, you know, and it still has this kind of, perhaps a ghost of those origins in violence, you know, there's a kind of coldness to it. And then when you kind of speak about these kind of, um, let's say, warm subjects of leaves, I don't know, maybe that's what you're pointing to a little bit, but when I put the work up, I try and, you know, remain as anonymous as possible, and I sort of hover around the public, kind of trying, you know, trying to work out what they're going to say. Uh, and often people just do say, you know, that the work has this, you know, maybe kind of a sadness to it a little bit. A Thousand Year Dawn involves a young man watching the dawn rise, but in this instance, the sun will take a thousand years to rise. So in the piece, the young man leaves the scene in 3005. There's a kind of melancholy to it, in a way, you know, this idea of, you know, a long dawn, you know, or a dawn vigil, in a way. <laughs> 